Hi, I'm Dennis Brager. I'm a former IRS trial attorney and a California State Bar Certified Tax Specialist. This is just one in a series of videos designed to give answers to the questions that my clients frequently ask. U.S. citizens, resident aliens, and others who are U.S. taxpayers face a unique mode of taxation in the United States. U.S. taxpayers are taxed on their worldwide income regardless of where it was earned. Predictably and understandably, this method of taxation results in many expatriates worrying about whether they will face double taxation paying taxes on their income to both the nation they are living in and to the Internal Revenue Service. While there are provisions in the U.S. tax code and various tax treaties to address the issue of double taxation, these provisions can be difficult to understand, create problems for laypersons in ascertaining whether he or she qualifies, and it can present difficulties in maintaining compliance in future tax years as circumstances and finances change. However, the foreign earned income exclusion can be an essential tool in ensuring that double taxation does not occur. What is the foreign earned income exclusion? The foreign earned income exclusion is one way the tax code accounts for the problems created by our status-based system of taxation. In general, U.S. citizens or permanent legal residents living abroad are eligible to claim the exclusion. The amount of the exclusion is adjusted each year based upon the rate of inflation, and the amount of the exclusion for the current and past tax years is, as shown on this chart, in 2015 it was 100800 in 2014, it was 99,200. In 2013, it was 97,600, and so on. In addition to this income exclusion, the taxpayer may also exclude the value of employer-provided meals, lodging, and certain fringe benefits. However, despite the initial appeal of this provision, it is subject to some limitations and indeed inequities. Typically, government employees do not qualify. To begin with, they are ineligible for the foreign income exclusion even if they live and are working in a foreign country. Those who perform work outside of a nation state may also not be eligible. A two-year-old DC Circuit Appeals Court decision called Rogers v. Commissioner has placed the value of the foreign income exclusion in jeopardy for thousands of expatriates. Rogers involved a U.S. taxpayer who lived in Hong Kong and worked as a flight attendant for United Airlines. The taxpayer's employment duties required her to arrive nearly two hours before taking off to perform unpaid preparation duties. Per the terms of the employment contract, flight attendants are paid on the basis of their hours of flight time. Flight time includes the period from when the airplane leaves the terminal to the time it arrives at its destination. Being that the flight attendant was assigned to a trans-Pacific route, the majority of this taxpayer's compensable time was spent while the plane was over the Pacific Ocean and not within the borders of any country. This resulted in the IRS's determination that the taxpayer owed a deficiency because the income was not, quote, attributable to services performed by an individual in a foreign country or countries. On appeal to the tax court, the IRS commissioner's determination was upheld because the taxpayer could only exclude the portion of the taxpayer's earnings that were, that were related to her time spent working in or over foreign countries. At the next level of appeal, at the United States Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit, the court dismissed the taxpayer's challenge, stating that the commissioner's decision 
was in accord with tax code section 911 IRS regulations and the decision in the matter was not inconsistent with previous precedent. Similarly situated taxpayers must now exercise caution when determining whether their income qualifies for the exclusion. The same rule would also apply to someone who works on a ship in international waters. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by leaving a comment. And if you would like me to update you when I post a new video or send out a newsletter, please send an email to taxhelp at bragertaxlaw.com. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day.